Our Earth, a vibrant blue sphere teeming with life. From towering mountains to the deepest oceans, our planet is a marvel of intricate systems, all working together in harmony. But what if we viewed Earth not just as a home, but as a living entity itself? This is the essence of the Gaia Hypothesis. The Gaia Hypothesis, named after the Greek goddess of Earth, proposes that our planet functions as a single, self-regulating organism. All living things, from the smallest bacteria to the largest whale, are part of this intricate web of life. And just like any living organism, Earth has systems that work together to maintain balance and sustain life. Imagine Earth as a giant organism, breathing, circulating and responding to its environment. This concept may seem abstract, but when we look closer, we can see striking similarities between Earth's systems and our own human biology. Understanding these connections can deepen our appreciation for the delicate balance of our planet and our role in its well-being. This journey will take us through Earth's respiratory, circulatory and nervous systems, revealing the awe-inspiring processes that make our planet a living, breathing entity. Join me as we explore Gaia's breath. Every breath we take connects us to the Earth. Just as our lungs take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide, Earth has its own respiratory system driven by the remarkable process of photosynthesis. Plants, algae and some bacteria act as Earth's lungs, inhaling carbon dioxide and exhaling oxygen. Sunlight provides the energy for this vital exchange. Through photosynthesis, plants convert sunlight, water and carbon dioxide into sugars, releasing oxygen as a byproduct. This process is the foundation of life on Earth, providing the air we breathe and the food we eat. Imagine the vast Amazon rainforest, a sea of green as Earth's largest lung, inhaling carbon dioxide and exhaling life-giving oxygen. Or picture the microscopic phytoplankton in the ocean, absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen, forming the base of the marine food web. Through photosynthesis, Earth breathes, sustains and connects all living things. Just as our circulatory system carries blood throughout our bodies, Earth has its own intricate network of flows and currents. Rivers like arteries carry fresh water across continents, nourishing ecosystems and shaping landscapes. Ocean currents like veins circulate heat around the globe, regulating climate and supporting marine life. The ocean, Earth's largest circulatory system, is in constant motion. Driven by wind, temperature differences and Earth's rotation, ocean currents carry warm water from the tropics towards the poles and cold water from the poles towards the equator. This global circulation helps distribute heat, influencing weather patterns and supporting diverse marine ecosystems. Consider the Gulf Stream a powerful current that carries warm water from the Gulf of Mexico towards Europe, moderating its climate. Or envision the Humboldt Current, a cold, nutrient-rich current flowing up the coast of South America, supporting a wealth of marine life. Through these interconnected flows, Earth's circulatory system sustains life and regulates the planet's temperature. Our nervous system allows us to sense and respond to our surroundings. Similarly, Earth has its own protective shield, a magnetic field generated by its molten iron core. This magnetic field acts as a giant force field, deflecting harmful radiation from the sun and protecting life on Earth. Just as our nervous system transmits signals throughout our body, Earth's magnetic field interacts with the solar wind, a stream of charged particles constantly flowing from the sun. This interaction creates the aurora borealis and aurora australis, stunning displays of light in the sky near the poles. Imagine Earth's magnetic field as a giant safety net, protecting us from the sun's harmful rays. Or picture the aurora borealis as a celestial dance, a visible manifestation of Earth's magnetic shield interacting with the solar wind. This invisible force field is essential for life, shielding us from cosmic radiation and creating a safe haven for life to flourish. Earth's respiratory, circulatory and nervous systems are not isolated entities. They are intricately interconnected, working together in a delicate balance to maintain life. Changes in one system can ripple through the others, highlighting the interconnectedness of our planet. For example, increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere due to human activities can lead to ocean acidification, disrupting marine ecosystems and impacting Earth's circulatory system. Similarly, deforestation can disrupt Earth's respiratory system, reducing oxygen production and impacting carbon dioxide absorption. 
Just as our body systems rely on each other for optimal function, Earth's systems are interdependent. Changes in one system can have cascading effects on the others, emphasizing the need for a holistic understanding of our planet. Life on Earth thrives on rhythms and cycles. From the daily rotation of the Earth to the annual journey around the Sun, these cycles drive seasonal changes, influence weather patterns, and shape the behavior of organisms. The Earth's tilt on its axis creates seasons, bringing warmer temperatures and longer days in summer and cooler temperatures and shorter days in winter. These seasonal changes influence plant growth, animal migration and the availability of resources. Imagine the Earth's rotation as a conductor, setting the tempo for life's symphony, or picture the Earth's orbit around the Sun as a grand waltz guiding the ebb and flow of seasons and shaping the rhythms of life. These cycles are essential for life, providing predictability and driving the processes that sustain our planet. As part of the Earth's intricate web of life, humans have a profound impact on the planet. Our actions can disrupt the delicate balance of Earth's systems, leading to unintended consequences. Recognizing our role as part of Gaia is crucial for ensuring the well-being of our planet. Pollution, deforestation and climate change are just some of the ways human activities are impacting Earth's systems. These disruptions can have cascading effects leading to biodiversity loss, resource depletion and changes in weather patterns. Imagine Earth as a patient experiencing symptoms of distress due to human activities. Or picture our planet as a delicate tapestry being unraveled by unsustainable practices. Understanding the impact of our actions is essential for making responsible choices and safeguarding the health of our planet. The Gaia hypothesis offers a profound shift in perspective. It invites us to see Earth not just as a planet, but as a living, breathing entity, with interconnected systems working together to sustain life. We are part of this intricate web, intricately connected to the Earth's rhythms and cycles. Recognizing Earth as a living entity fosters a sense of respect and responsibility. It reminds us that our actions have consequences and that we have a role to play in maintaining the delicate balance of our planet. By understanding Earth systems and their interconnectedness, we can make informed choices that promote the well-being of Gaia and all its inhabitants. As we gaze upon the vibrant blue sphere we call home, let us remember that we are part of something much greater than ourselves. We are part of Gaia, a living planet, breathing, flowing and responding to our presence. Let us tread lightly with respect and gratitude and strive to be responsible stewards of this remarkable planet we call home. As we delve deeper into the Gaia hypothesis, it's crucial to recognize that this intriguing concept has not been without its controversies and criticisms. While Gaia proposes a holistic view of Earth as a self-regulating living entity, several scientific voices have raised pivotal concerns. Firstly, the hypothesis is often seen as teleological, implying that Earth systems are purposefully designed to maintain life. This perspective clashes with the Darwinian view of natural selection, where changes occur through random mutations without intentional direction. Critics like Richard Dawkins argue that Earth, unlike organisms, cannot be a unit of selection in evolutionary terms. Moreover, skeptics highlight a significant gap in empirical support. They contend that the Gaia hypothesis, while rich in metaphorical value, lacks concrete mechanisms and data to substantiate the notion of Earth as a living organism. This absence of clear evidence leads some to view Gaia more as a speculative philosophy rather than a scientifically rigorous theory. Additionally, concerns about the hypothesis's conceptual structure have been voiced. Critics claim that its foundational ideas, though compelling, are sometimes weakly constructed, leading to potential misunderstandings and logical errors. This has, unfortunately, allowed the term Gaia to be misinterpreted and misused, sometimes co-opted into pseudo-scientific realms, further fueling skepticism. Despite these criticisms, the discussion surrounding the Gaia hypothesis has evolved. It has spurred refinement and integration with established scientific fields like earth system science, biogeochemistry, and systems ecology, contributing to a richer dialogue about our planet's complex systems.